Arcade is a game that I used to play all the time during my childhood. It is a very early Atari 2600 game, and I think it still holds up pretty well today. Like most Atari games, the gameplay is very simple and accommodating to all who pick it up. You fly a plane shooting down all boats, jets, and helicopters in sight, as well as the occasional bridge to get past certain areas, as you rack up the highest score as you possibly can. Now be warned as, like most Atari games, if you hit any one of these things you're trying to kill, or hit any of the edges of the screen, you're done. And you have to restart all over again. Now, the graphics are pretty pleasing for an Atari game. It's very simple, yet at the same time it's very nice to look at. Sure, it has aged a lot, and but even today, I still think it looks semi-decent for an Atari game. And the sound? Well, it's just a constant engine noise and a few beeps, which kinda drives me insane, to say the least. Now, I play the sound here, but unfortunately I did not record any audio from the game. My mistake. And the game is very addictive, and it's not very easy at the same time. However, after you play for a little bit, you can pretty much speed run through the early portions of the game with little to no trouble. However, once you get a little bit into the game itself, it will be pretty tough, and you may want to slow down. And another gameplay element that many games on the Atari really did not add in was the fact that on top of the whole you have to shoot everything, you have to avoid the walls and everything, you also have to worry about getting fuel for your plane. Because if you don't pick up fuel, you're gonna nosedive right into the water and you're gonna die. However, your fuel really does not drain that quickly, so I would not be too worried, but I thought it added a nice little extra element to the gameplay. And I think without it, the game would have been just very generic. So anyways, my final score is a 9 out of 10. On the positive side, it has addictive gameplay, and the graphics are great for an early 2600 game. On the negative, the constant engine noise would drive anyone insane. Anyways, thanks for watching my review, and I'll catch you next time.